Hey everyone, welcome back to another Tic Tac Tyco. Today is part two of my Diddle Rudiment series. I've got four drills today with lots of yummy variations. If you haven't seen part one, I'm including the link in the description below. Please check that out first before continuing on to the drills, just to make sure that we're all on the same page and to prevent any frustration. So with that out of the way, let's get to the drills. I call this first drill the waltz because it's got a very nice one, two, three, one, two, three, waltzy type of feel. The pattern is pretty simple. Don, diddle, diddle, don, diddle, diddle. You might count it or, or, or say it. Don, si, doko, doko, don, si, doko, doko. In kuchi shoka. Uh, sticking is alternating. So you would have right. Left, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, left. So you're always continuing uh, to switch hands. That's what I call having a nice flow for your drill. As you get comfortable, you can kick the tempo up into a nice coasting tempo. And the dawn, the accent, doesn't matter how loud that is. So you can, if you want, play with making that louder while keeping the, the diddles even. I wouldn't even call that a variation. That's just something optional. Uh, one thing I like to do with this drill is push how fast I can play it and see where I can take it. This is not the goal, but after you're really comfortable with this, it's fun to see how much faster you can go. The variation of this drill takes it from the easiest drill this week to potentially the hardest drill this week. Um, you've got six notes in your waltz drill. Don, si, do, go, do, go. The variation takes out the second note and you squish the notes together, which gives you five flat notes. Don, do, go, do, go. Don, do, go, do, go. Now, it seems pretty easy. It's just five notes. But there's a certain tempo, and everyone is going to have a, a different limit, where your brains and your hands just stop talking to each other. So what I find helps to do this drill is, unlike all the other drills where I say you want the diddles to sound the same, uh, like it's a straight beat, I find that it's really good to have two different tones, and I also sing the pattern along so my brain knows what it should sound like, and that helps my hands. I can't play this one anywhere as fast as I play the other ones that are in six or any of the other drills you'll see later, but it's still a good challenge to try and find that tempo. Good luck with this one. Most taiko players, when we hear don doko or don tsuku, we think of a pattern that's played right, right, left. For this drill, don doko is right, left, left. You're going to play that seven times, and then you'll end with right, right. It sounds like this. You start the next pattern with your left and you do the diddle on your right. You do that seven times and end with two less. So let me play that through four times. Two slow and two medium. It doesn't matter if the don is a little bit louder than the diddle, as long as the diddle, the two notes, are even. Now the first variation, 
would be to cut this pattern in half. Now the other, other variation is to cut that pattern in half again. At first, get used to the pattern, play at a nice slow tempo, then find a tempo that you can coast at, then find a tempo that challenges you. Now the other, other, other variation is instead of don doko, you're going to play doko don. It's essentially the same drill, you're just starting to diddle on the first hand rather than playing a don and diddling on the other. Let me go to the eight count version and I'll play through once on both sides. Now the easiest way to practice diddles is to simply play diddles. But it's easy to zone out, it's easy to get bored, it happens to the best of us. So the diddle diddle drill takes practicing diddles, adds a little bit of spice, and alternates between starting with the right and starting with the left. It has a nice flow. You're going to play six diddle diddles and then end with a pattern. It'll sound like this. So that pattern is don don su don don su don 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 su don don su don don. So that don don is another diddle, which ends the pattern, and you'll start the next diddle on your left. I'm going to go through the whole sequence four times. Now, the variation of this is the same as the variation of the last drill. Just cut it in half. You can't cut it in half again. I mean, you can do anything you want. I'm not the boss of you. But you can't cut this pattern in half again like you did the last one because it's built differently. Still, just like the other patterns, find a nice tempo that you can practice the sequence at, then find a tempo that you can coast at, and then when you're ready, find a tempo that challenges you. pattern for today is a little different. It's still a diddle, this is the diddle series, but it's not like any of the drills we've done so far or even the ones we did last week. Now some people know me and they know I love a lot of metal. And there's a very common riff in metal, sometimes on the guitar, sometimes on the drum, sometimes on both. Essentially it's toko don, right left right. But that's not really it. It's played much, much faster. But that's not it. It's played over and over and over again. So it might sound something like this. I apologize to all metal groups everywhere for that. But the idea is it's very driving, quick, and snappy. Did you catch the diddle?
So the brain doesn't hear the diddle unless you're really aware of it. The brain is hearing dokodon. And this is fun because you're doing a diddle, but you're not necessarily aware of it. And those kind of drills are, for me, I find those really neat. You don't have to worry about the tempo being that fast. In fact, I'm going to slow it down and play it on the left side because remember, you should always be going back and forth if the drill itself doesn't switch for you. Now, one thing I always wind up doing is I start the pattern with the second note, in this case, my right hand, way too high, way too loud. So an exaggerated version would sound like this. So I start at a tempo and a certain volume, and then I try to adjust it to make sure that all the notes are even. And that might mean bringing one hand up or the other hand down. Now to make this drill flow, all you need to do is alternate. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left, right, left. And that's it. This is a, a silly, fun drill, but it's still very valid. It's a diddle. And this drill is something I really love to challenge myself with, trying my right, left, right as fast as I can for as long as I can. I'm not gonna do it for as long as I can now, but I'm definitely going to try to push my tempo. Ah, I can feel the burn. And that brings us to the end of part two of the Diddle Rudiment series. These drills, some of them I created for this video, some of them I've been doing for months or even years, but they're all yours. You can customize them, you can play with them, do what works for you. Now, if you liked what you saw, let me know with a thumbs up. If you want to see more rudiments, more demonstrations, um, more entertainment, more drills, whatever you would like to see, let me know in the comments section below, or you can email me at this address here. Ooh. Fancy, right? Um, I always read what people say and I try to consider as much as possible. And if I can, I will reply personally. Um, and of course, if you want to subscribe and show me some love, I always appreciate it. Go ahead and hit that button. Otherwise, until next time, keep diddling and be well.